So one of my clients that I'm working with is also trying to transition from kind of a high carb, low fat diet into a keto diet. He's gone through phase one, two, and he's in phase three, and he's tested everything, and he's ready to move on to a ketogenic diet. Problem is, is that he was having the craziest keto flu ever. He was literally getting sick, absolutely lethargic, tired, not hungry, just feeling like crap, having constipation one day, diarrhea the next, just the horrible keto flu. But we made some adjustments and he feels a lot better now. And I wanna share with you guys in today's video a few tips that I used because when I went through my transition, I didn't get the keto flu too bad. Um, some of my clients have been getting it super bad, but we've been using some little optimizing tricks and it's helping them a lot. So I figured I'd share those with you in today's video. So one thing I haven't heard a lot of people talk about and something that I did that now all my clients are doing, and this is helping out a ton, is to start off with like a one or a two day water fast. Get your body to start to run on ketones right away without the use of any foods. Go through that period to get all the glucose out of your body and then start the ketogenic diet. I think that is really an awesome way to kind of get your body over the hump faster and to cut down on the symptoms of the keto flu. Um, secondly, and this was something that is such an easy adjustment, but I was just I just didn't know until about halfway through my keto flu, and then I started doing this and it made me feel a lot better. The clients that I'm working with are doing this right away. Um, magnesium citrate, plenty of salt, and lots of potassium. So I'm getting the potassium from things like salmon and from things like avocados. I'm taking the magnesium citrate just in capsule form. Um, and then of course I'm getting salt from things like Himalayan sea salt, Aztec salt, just the really awesome higher end salt varieties out there will do just amazing. So you gotta get your electrolytes on par and on shape and in the right, I don't even know. You gotta get your electrolytes straight um, before you start the keto diet so that you can really cut down on the keto flu. It helps a ton. What I just suggested also really helps with the digestion issues that come when you have the keto flu. Diarrhea, constipation, you get your electrolyte levels nice and proper and that can be almost solved right away. Another thing that people forget about once they kind of like create a new lifestyle or transition to a new diet, they forget about the basics. Movement, lots of rest, and water. Um, if you're not hydrated, you're gonna feel like crap. And when your body is starting to run on ketones, starting to be fat adapted, your body needs to be hydrated to send those electrical signals and those electrical impulses and to make sure the body is just feeling good, feeling optimum. Also, if you're getting the keto flu really bad, allow yourself to rest a little bit extra, get some extra sleep, spend some time taking naps or lounging around. The more rest and relaxation you do, the faster your body will be in recovery mode and the more it will recover and the faster you'll get through that flu. Faster you get through that flu. And something that I did just um, naturally is I went from the water fast to going onto the keto diet and I totally took away my carbs altogether. No sugar, no fruit, um, no starches, just zero carbs. The only carbs I was getting was from the fiber and things like lettuce and green juice. So my carbs were as low as they possibly could be. I think that's an awesome suggestion for those who are starting the keto diet and are going through that keto flu. Take your carbs all the way away. Really focus on getting those delicious, healthy fats in your body and allow that body to start going through that adaptation process that it wants to do so badly. I think the last point I wanna make on today's video is remember that these things take time. Transitioning your body to become fat adapted or transitioning to any new type of diet it takes some time, so be patient. Um, I've heard of people, and this is coming from my mentors who have been on a ketogenic diet for like over 10 years, and they coach people primarily doing keto diet. Um, it can take about a month to be fully fat adapted, sometimes even more for some people. Generally, the worst part of it, the keto flu, only takes about a week, sometimes less, sometimes more, but just be patient, allow your body to slowly get through it, and use the tips and tricks that I shared with you in today's video to make that process 
easier. But remember the basics, water, electrolytes, um, getting plenty of rest, a little bit of movement can help. Keeping those carbs super low and starting off with a water fast can make a huge difference in that process of becoming fat adapted. Few announcements. So in late October, we are going to go forward with our group community coaching course. It's gonna be really awesome. It's gonna focus primarily on the three phases of skin disease reversal, and it will be a group forum style. We'll have weekly live chats with lectures and question and answers. We'll have a group forum, we'll have a workbook. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Be surrounded by other like-minded people who are looking to heal their skin and get educated around that process and support each other while we do so. It's gonna be really fun. I hope to see you guys there. HolistichealthActivation.com is where you can sign up for that. Also, if you're looking to get more of a private type of thing going on, have me lead you through the process of healing your skin, there's a link in the description for that as well. Don't forget to hit me up on the good old Instagram. It's Stuart Rob Stewart is my handle, even though my name is just Rob Stewart. And if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share. If you're old to this channel, remember to hit the notification bell. I got so much love for you guys. Um, I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.